Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 9, verse 36, through chapter 10, verse 8. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus. Simon from Cana and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received. Without cost you you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection On behalf of Kristen and myself, we want to wish all of the fathers who are listening a very happy Father's Day. In today's Gospel, Jesus is moved with compassion for the crowds, recognizing their need for guidance and salvation. He sees them as sheep without a shepherd, a people who are lost and in need of guidance. His heart is moved with love and concern, and he responds by sending out his disciples to proclaim the kingdom of God and heal the sick. In this act, Jesus sets an example for us to follow, to respond to the needs of others with compassion and selfless action. Mother Teresa was a beacon of love and service in the 20th century, and she provided all of us with a powerful example of living out the call to compassionate mission. She heard the cry of the poorest of the poor in the streets of Calcutta, India, and her heart was filled with this unquenchable desire to serve them. She had incredible empathy. Mother Teresa embraced the marginalized, the sick, and the dying, and she offered them love, dignity, and care each and every day. Just like Jesus, Mother Teresa saw that spiritual poverty also existed alongside material poverty, And so she recognized that there was a profound hunger for love and belonging in that community. She responded by founding the Missionaries of Charity, a religious congregation dedicated to serving the poorest of the poor. Through her actions, Mother Teresa taught us that true compassion extends beyond mere sympathy to tangible acts of love and service. The Gospel passage today challenges us to embrace the mission of Jesus by extending his love and compassion to those around us. It calls us to recognize the sufferings and needs of others and respond with genuine concern just like Jesus did. The example of Mother Teresa reminds us that each one of us has a role to play in this mission regardless of our circumstances or abilities. Mother Teresa often said, We cannot all do great things, but we can do small things with great love. She understood that compassion begins with the smallest act of kindness and reaches its fullness when it is rooted in love. Whether it's lending a listening ear to a friend in need, reaching out to a lonely neighbor, or volunteering at a local charity or your parish, our acts of compassion can bring healing and hope to those around us. And so today, let's pray and allow ourselves to become instruments of God's compassion in a world that desperately needs healing and hope. May we reflect the heart of Christ and draw others closer to His abundant love and mercy.